Welcome back to Detroit's Network Show and our continued coverage of Humanity 2.0. I'm Matt Bird, broadcasting worldwide from the Vatican for Equities.com and his affiliate partners. And we have a special guest back on camera with us, the CEO of Burst IQ, Frank Ricotta. Frank, welcome to the show. Hey, Matt. Thanks for having me again. Uh, are you kidding me? You are uh, many things, uh, but more importantly is you're a very spiritual man, and we are on hollow ground for you right yes, now. Yes, yeah, absolutely. This is pretty special. It is. It's a, it's a definitely special event. And the location even even makes it that much more so. You've had a chance to network around, and we've been out here. Meanwhile, a lot of stuff's been going on in there. Do you want to tell us a little about what's what's been happening? Yeah, you know, the it's actually been an amazing forum. You know, the first of all, I uh, love the mission of Humanity 2.0, because because really in in our human human existence, human family, you know, for us to get better, we have to all start by recognizing the dignity of e of each of us. You know, each of us have a special uh, dignity about ourselves, and and lifting that up and empowering that, and enabling that, just uh, just really important for us to solve some of these big problems. But the you know the 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 topics we uh, spoke about this morning, which is maternal health, um, universal problem around the world, could you, needs a lot of attention and and uh, really a lot of our health issues start at that point in time, both with moms and babies. And then uh, Project Vision, which is you know, how, do, how do we create um, you know, more health, uh, a healthier existence, not just from a healthcare perspective, but from a total person perspective. I think the content's been amazing. Some incredibly smart people here, mm -hmm. incredibly smart people. Do you have any specific takeaways from the panels? Anybody that just really stood out for you? Um, <clears throat> Well, that's a that's a great question because because they all they all have, mm -hmm. um, you know I, I have to I have to take my hat hat off to math uh, to Matthew Sanders mm -hmm. for just putting it all together. I I think he he provided a great opening keynote and just set set the tone for the entire day. You know I did I did see his keynote. And he's terrific. He's a, he's a he's a terrific speaker. Uh, but uh, the respect and the the uh, the the gathering he's he's put together here is pretty pretty amazing. Yeah. Now, you're, you've got a panel coming up yourself, the Innovation Panel. Yes. You've got some pretty heavyweight panel pa co-panelists that you're bringing on, on, on there. And I know you crossed paths with somebody we had on the show here earlier, which is Robert, the mathematician. Yeah. Pretty amazing guy. Oh, geez, I think he's, he's at a whole different level, intelligence-wise. One, one might say savant, mm -hmm. savant level uh, in terms of what the problem that he just articulated, what they solved. Um, with the next generation of encryption and privacy technologies, and what that actually does to uh, to make the current public key pri private key system obsolete, <laughs> I, I didn't. I never thought I would see something like that in my lifetime. It's it's incredible. I just uh, um, can't wait for it to get out get out to the rest of the world. Well, you know, you're a pretty stoic guy, and you've been smiling ear to ear since you walked through this door. Yeah. So it's like it's stimulation on so many levels for you right now, oh, right? It's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's just been amazing, yeah. Well, you know what? You got your name on the board with Google and Cisco and all the other guys. Right. Um, you got you got a feature panel, but there's something really <clears throat> special happening today that very few people know. Well, people within industry know. You're making a, a debut, your debut appearance for the International Trade Administration today. Yes, we are. We're going to, I mean, this is the first time we're, we're going to publicly speak about the yeah. strategic partnership. Uh, really excited the fact that we're the first blockchain company that they've partnered with, uh, particularly in the enterprise blockchain space. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just not it's just not about a one-to-one -one partnership. It's really about creating a broader uh, economic development um, initiative around blockchain, not just for companies in the United States, but international trade. There's so many opportunities to impact the human existence, and as um, as they like to talk about here at Humanity 2.0, is the uh, human flourishing, mm. uh, particularly around blockchain. It just fits very nicely together. Well, you know, and, and one of the neat things, and if I, if I know this correctly, you're going to have a chance to participate on the regulatory, at least inputting on the regulatory side, which yeah. trickles down the humanitarian yeah. side, which you, is pretty neat. You can't do any of these proje projects without public-private partnerships. It's just impossible. Mm. You know, the private sector is really awesome about innovation, but if you're going to uh, deploy this stuff at scale in terms of solving some of these problems like health and our maternity health. If you don't cross over into the public pro partnerships and uh, and for example with some of these initiatives over over with the Vatican and the religious organizations that are out servicing these communities day in and day out, it just 
it just won't have the impact it can have. Well, you know, I'm pretty excited for you, and I'm excited for the IT. I'm excited for Handman 2.0. I'm excited to see where this all goes. So uh, okay. I tell you what, um, I'm going to let you get out of here. We got yeah. the commercial break coming up. I know you got a panel you get prepared for, but I'd love to have you back before you take off. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I love I love being on this show. This, <laughs> we love this having show. Bringing some some uh, great content out to the world that <laughs> would otherwise not see it. Oh, I really appreciate that. Everybody, Frank Ricona, CEO of Burst IQ. I'm at Burr with the Traders Network. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away. The 2019 Humanity 2.0 Forum is brought to you by Cisco Systems, CSR solutions that are accelerating global problem solving in ways that have never been attempted before. To Ulala, providing mobile blockchain solutions for the unbanked. And to Pledge Camp, the next generation of crowdfunding. A special thanks to Tonico in Vatican City for hosting our program. And lastly, special consideration to Burst IQ, a leader in healthcare and blockchain, to Crown Sterling, the leader in digital sovereignty and quantum encryption, to Dignity Health, delivering high quality and affordable healthcare for all. And lastly, to Falcon Ventures, as transformative as our entrepreneurs. And thank you, One Hair Public Relations, for all your PR and media support. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away.